Stoke made the trip to South Wales in search of the first three points since the first of the month. Of course, it seems like an absolute age since that Coventry game. That 4-0 win, really good performance. That was probably the last time we showed any glimpse of promise. The last four games just haven't been good at all. Three defeats at home, as well as the 0-0 draw away at Birmingham. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways, like I say, but I really don't know with Stoke at the moment. We're facing a Cardiff side who are below us, who are in that relegation battle, and we should really be expected to pick up three points against them. But as we said on Tuesday night, it was pretty much the same case in the intro against Wigan. You know, I said we should really be beating these and we come away losing 1-0. And ultimately, I think we deserved to. The performance was absolutely shocking. It was disappointing to see a couple of the lads that you know we've praised so so much on the channel in the last year they really didn't turn up hopefully we can put a bit of a stronger team out today i'm unsure on my score prediction not too confident though let's make the trip to wales for the second time this season hopefully it's as good as the first one where we come from behind to beat swansea back in february but without further ado let's get into the welsh capital come on stoke <laughs> Again, Stoke makes six changes from the defeat to Wigan. So it's Jack Bonner who retains the gloves in goal. Connor Taylor and Morgan Fox stay put at centre back. Phil Jagielka comes into the side as captain. Josh Tymon at left wing back, potentially with Keanu Hoover at right wing back. The Hoover could be playing right back and Tymon a little bit further up the side on the wing. In midfield, it's Will Smallbone, Josh Laurent, and Ben Pearson who returns to the side after his suspension. And then the two up top potentially of Dwight Gale and Tyrese Campbell. Campbell obviously might be playing on that right hand side with Tymon on the left as I mentioned. Wouldn't be surprised if it went either way. I'll be nice and optimistic and go 1-0 Stoke with Tyrese Campbell getting the goal. Come on. Yeah. 
Half time, one all. After a really disjointed start, Stoke took the lead from a Josh Laurent goal. Um, ball came in, Laurent was there to flick on the header and it landed in the back of the net. We probably could have doubled the lead. We had some good movements going forward on a handful of occasions. I wouldn't say it was every occasion we went forward. We still look a little bit static in the middle. But shortly before the half hour mark, it was Cardiff that got back into the game. Really poor defending from Phil Jagielka allowed them to get one on one and the striker just ball, rolled the ball through Jack Bonham's legs I think but you know we have had really shaky instances in, in defence um, we're playing a back three today not much for it obviously we've got no Jacob Brown up front we've got limited options up front so that might be the reason why we're shooting towards this end in the second half hopefully we can get a winner in front of the travelling Stokies a really good following considering the distance but um, yeah let's get into the second half hopefully we can take all three points against a side we really should be beating but you've got to give every side in this division the respect that they deserve let's get into the second half come on Time, but only hard players. So 
Alan Sawyers. Sawyers going to loft it forward, looking for a man in the middle. I think he's won by NG. Oh, Considering I wasn't too confident going into the game, I mean a point against a side that, like I say, should really have beaten uh, Cardiff. You know, towards the bottom end of the table. Um, I mean, we would have lost had it not been for Jack Bonham's second half heroics. I mean, it was a great save, really poor penalty from Romain Sawyer's. In, mean, I wasn't too happy with the selection. Um, Galen Campbell up front. Yes, granted, we are slightly short with options with Jacob Brown out for the rest of the season, but. Yeah, I just thought midfield really poor again. Uh, good header from Laurent, but yeah, not really a lot to, to celebrate today. On to QPR next week, final home game. And um, yeah, hope you have enjoyed. Go on.